They're on fire. Really? Yes. What's going on everyone? Todd and a buddy of mine, Alex, you saw him in a previous video. He's actually a real professional race car driver. Doesn't just play one on TV. Alex is going to be helping us with a brake comparative test. We have the stock brakes on right now on a 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. And we just ordered the Unplugged Performance Big Brake Kit. It was supposed to be here today. Unplugged Performance did their best to get it shipped off just in time and FedEx screwed it up. So if FedEx is watching this, not too happy with you FedEx. You had the chance to redeem yourself and allow me to come pick it up at the delivery center and you didn't do it. So sorry, there's no human component left to FedEx anymore. What we're gonna do here, let's just break away to what we're gonna talk about, how we're gonna test this today. Your ideas on this to simulate racetrack conditions. Sure, so brake calipers are giant heat sinks. The faster you can get the heat out of them, the better they work. Also, the faster you get the heat out of them, the less likely they are to boil the brake fluid that's in the brake calipers. Less heat, less is gonna be better braking, better performance. So what we're gonna test out today, we're first of all, we're gonna start by making sure all four wheels are set to 38 PSI, just so that we have the same contact patch on all four wheels across the board whenever we do this test. We're gonna use the infrared thermometer. We're gonna run 10 times we're gonna go right over the border of Mexico and we're gonna do 10 runs at 100 miles an hour to zero to simulate a track type scenario. And then I'm gonna hop out of the car, I'm gonna hit it with the infrared thermometer and I'm gonna check what the temperature of the rotor is. From that point, I'm gonna start a stopwatch and we're gonna see how long it takes for that brake rotor to cool back to about 100 degrees. 100 degrees would be basically the temperature at which you'd be okay with touching it. So that's a full cool down, in my opinion. Obviously, when you're running around on a racetrack, they're never gonna cool down to 100 uh, degrees, no matter how much air you're blowing on them, really. I mean, as soon as you touch them again, they're gonna go back to five, 600 degrees. But yeah, so we're gonna run out, go out with the plaid and see what we can simulate. 300 and... Uh, 327.
on fire. Really? Yes. Do you have a fire extinguisher in your car? Yeah. What? Yeah. No? They're on fire. They're 700 and 800, 900, 950 degrees. Check the other side, Jesse. Make sure it's not flaming. I had to blow this side out. I had to blow it out. It was on fire. Wait, you saw flames? There was flames. Jeez. Um, all right, we got, we got 950 degrees. We need to keep driving this thing. Just to... You good? Don't touch the brakes, just drive it. I've seen that, I've I've seen that happen a couple times in racing scenarios where you're out running some really hard laps and you bring it into the pits and, you know, all of a sudden there's no more airflow going to those, those brake components. How's that brake pedal feel super bushy though, right? Oh yeah, look how long that thing is now. It's not much different. Seven. All right, we're getting out now. We're gonna check the temperatures after driving normal and about a probably 10, 15 mile cool down. Yeah, so normally they're 90, less than 100 degrees. Yep. How about that? Down to 60, 68 degrees. So they're getting plenty of airflow at a uh, at speed to cool them down, but you run them hard. Let's go review this video and see if we caught the flames. All right, we just got back from running this little test and I just wanted to say for the record, I'm not trying to insinuate that these brakes are not acceptable or safe for everyday driving on the street. I know uh, I posted this up on Facebook and immediately I got all this backlash from people saying, well, there's guys that run the drag strip over and over again, never reported these problems. Anytime you, you stop hard multiple times and you don't give uh, the brakes a chance to cool down and you have a problem, well, we're doing this pre-test because we just got a big brake kit from, from Unplugged Performance. Should have been here today, but FedEx screwed up. It'll be here soon, we'll get those installed. This was the pre-test, this was the plan, was to see how these performed as far as doing multiple hard stops. And as soon as we got any sort of feedback that the pedal started getting soft, like we heard a lot of people report on the forums, we were gonna pull over, stop, and we're gonna see how hot the caliper, the rotor was getting. We pulled over a couple times throughout the test and then once uh, we smelled uh, you know, you know, hot brakes, we decided to pull over and see where we were at. That's when we noticed that there was flames. Not saying these aren't acceptable for street use. However, if you could do any sort of road course driving, which I am, I'm not gonna use these brakes, obviously, because uh, they catch on fire. And also for argument's sake, those of you who have driven and said that you haven't had an issue, I'm wondering if you would have had a GoPro mounted on the outside of your car pointing at your wheel and so you could see what's going on with your brakes. I'm wondering if they would have caught on fire and maybe this is happening more often than we know. Now, this is a vehicle that accelerates very quickly. It's a performance vehicle. Should it have better brakes? I'm not necessarily saying that I think it's a bad deal buying the car for what it's at without having you know carbon ceramic brakes I, I think it's still a great deal but i would say from a safety standpoint when someone buys a high performance vehicle that kind of comes with certain assumptions that that individual is not going to be driving this car just to go get groceries they're driving this in a performance manner maybe they're taking it on a track they're doing high speed runs and whatnot and just without proper cool down in between braking you're going to run into problems so Hopefully everyone can learn from this. It can help you avoid any sort of issue. And then we're gonna compare this to the Carmen Ceramic Brakes that Unplugged Performance makes. So hopefully we can see this not happen, which I'm expecting them not to happen because Carbon Ceramic is gonna dissipate heat a lot quicker than these guys.